All right, guys. Well, Vito and the Knights still got it in them, man. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight, we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. I am diving into the rich ocean that is Explorer. You could even say that I'm Exploring Explorer. A new type of uh, historic type of build. Uh, it is eventually going to be Pioneer, um, which is kind of an extended historic, kind of going way back in the Magic's past, going back a lot of different sets. Um, I do have some of the older cards, and I do like some of these older builds. I've been doing this for a while. And I said, why don't I revisit some of my favorite decks, get some of the old dusty cards out of the old digital bin here, and start to kill. So I'm going to go with one of my favorite Orzhov builds, the Death Knights. Yes, this is a Death Touch Knight deck featuring none other than Lord Vito himself. And through the blood of the wicked, we shall be redeemed. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, but before we get to the nitty gritty of this one, I need you to do something for me. Do you know what that is? Tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Don't smash it. Every YouTuber wants you to smash the like button. I don't. I want you to be easy with it. Because if you don't, the like and subscribe. This big YouTube werewolf bruiser guy right here, he's going to pummel you. He's going to get you. He's going he's gonna, to he's gonna get you good, this like and subscribe. Uh, if you do not like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment, tell me what you think. Join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash that Bill and Jay for a live streaming goodness. We would love to have you there every night. We are having a blast uh, every night, 11, 11 p.m. Eastern time. Check out our Discord community for all the latest news and information and all the spiciest magic beams that you can possibly handle. Um, this deck and all the other ones that I build are available down below on my Aether Hub, so in case you want to check that out, get all the different decks that I build down there. Um, and of course, uh, what else can I say? You can join the channel, and uh, when you join the channel, you get a pack code uh, for six free Nuka Penna packs, or hey, maybe you want to grab yourself a uh, brand new J-Villain hat and get six free pack codes that way. Either one, I don't care. I want to give out pack codes to you. And those are both different ways to do it. So, what are we talking about here? Pretty tight, concise death with Death Knights right here, right? Um, so, what are we dealing with? Light of Hope. Light of Hope is a fantastic card. I used to put in pretty much everything. It's from Ikoria. Um, uh, so, what does that mean? It is gain four life, destroy target enchantment, or put one one counter on target creature. It's basically the Swiss Army Knife of white, uh, is essentially what it is. So, why do I want this one? I want that four life because it's essentially a damaging card when you're running Veto. And yes, this deck is running Veto. Uh, destroying an enchantment is extremely useful in the game. Uh, generally speaking, in this current meta, destroying enchantments can be key. And one one target creature can swing. Uh, one one target creature can swing things in your favor. Blood Chief stirs just a little bit of spot removal, early removal, and late removal, especially for kicking it to get rid of a more expensive creature or a planeswalker specifically. Now, if you want to get rid of a um, planeswalker. Um, you can get something else. However, I want to make sure that we can target Planeswalkers. If you want to use a different kind of removal, sure, swap it out. If you want an older removal, a newer removal, sure. I want you with four removals in this deck, minimum. If you want to do more, sure, go for it. Knight of the Ebon Legion. Now, here's where we get down to the nitty-gritty here. What we're going to want with this deck, guys, what we want is Knights with Death Touch. This is what we want. So this guy is going to fulfill both of them, okay? Knights with Death Touch. One drop, one black, one two Vampire Knight. Uh, he gains plus three, plus three, and gains Death Touch in the end of the turn if you pay one black and two. At the beginning of your end step, if a player lost f four more life this turn, get a one one counter on Knight of the Ebon Legion. He is not messing around. This guy is dangerous, okay? He is dangerous. He used to be pretty much standard in any black deck that was going out there, and he's back for Explorer. Um, 
Smitten Swordmaster. I have him. He's a common. I have four of him. I don't think we need four of him. I might swap him out for maybe, maybe we only need three of him. Why is he useful? Well, I like that curry favorability, that adventure that he goes on. Um, what that means is we gain X life and each opponent loses X life or X is the number of knights we control. So what does that mean? Um, he can pay, you can just pay one black mana and go on the adventure. Then you can later play him as a creature and he's a two, one life link knight. Uh, if you play him as a creature, you can't curry favor. You have to curry favor first and then play him as a creature. That's the old school, um, uh, what is that called? Not Theros. It's uh, the one that everyone hated. Eldraine. Well, not everyone hated, but was overpowered um, ability. So what does this mean? When you're running a gain and drain ability, if you have three knights, they you they lose three life, you gain three life. And if you're running veto, you gain three life, they lose three more life again. So that can be very dangerous, depending if you have a lot of uh, knights on the board for one black mana. And of course, a two, three life links um, uh, Knight is extremely useful too. Now this is a little bit of a later add. This is a fantastic Orzhov Knight. Triumphant Adventurer is this awesome knight that we get here. Uh, a 1-1 one, one Death Touch. Again, a Death Touch Knight. Uh, and as long as it's our turn, we have First Strike. And then when he attacks, we venture in the dungeon. Guess what we can do? The first thing in the dungeon. Gain a life, then scry, then create... Uh, treasure tokens and we can scry some more runestone cavern we can uh, create black skeleton tokens or we can go over to the cave entrance we can lose one life there's a lot of different options here but just swinging in with him we're going to get to the swinging part i'm going to show you the combos that we're going to hit we're not even in the combo plays yet okay um so we're going to get to those combo plays in a second the main thing is knights with death touch okay knights with death touch uh, and then the adventuring dungeon for that extra treasure, for that extra life gain, for those extra abilities, that's just bonus. We're not really running a dungeon deck. Those are all just additional things. They're just added stuff that you can go in. Uh, then first strike with death touch, he really, people stay out of his way. Wintermore commander for an uncommon, uh, he is a fantastic, 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 fantastic card. Two blank death touch um, and only a black and white. Okay, uh, when Wintermore toughness is equal to the number of knights you control, whenever Wintermore commander attacks, another target knight you control gains indestructible. So that means the more Wintermores we have, the more we swing in um, with Wintermores, the more indestructibles we have, the more dangerous we are. Yes, again, are you seeing the pattern here? Death touch knights. Death touch knights. Why? We're getting to that, okay? You're about to see what the combo is here. What makes this so deadly? Why does this kill people so fast? Well, a little card that I used to run all the time called Hooded Blightfang. Um, for fun, I used to actually cast Dub on this to make it a knight, to make it really funny, and I used to call it Sir Snake. Uh, but we're not going to do that this time. We want to get serious. Explore is a tough uh, cue because people are running all kind of jank. But if you really want to go crazy with it and turn him into a knight... Uh, because just for the memes, you can run dub on it and turn him into a night snake and call him Sir Snake, but we're not going to do that. Uh, we're just going to run him flat, which is one black and two. He's a death touch snake. Whenever a creature you control with death touch attacks, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Okay? So all these knights that are swinging in with death touch, all these small creatures that are swinging with death touch, they're all going to hit the gain and drain. All right, and that's for each Hooded Blightfang you have on the board. So if you have two of them and you have th uh, three knights swinging in, that's minus uh, that's minus three, minus six, gain six. Then you have Veto. Whenever we, they gain life, they lose. So if they're minus six plus six, that's minus. That's uh, we gain six. They're minus six. We gain six. Then they lose another six. That is deadly. That is unbelievably deadly. That is terribly, terribly deadly. When you have Hooded Blightfang, all these Death Touch Knights going in and those triggers, how do we make that even worse for them? How do we make that even more deadly on top of anything else that you could even have possibly seen before? How do we make it worse? How do we make the death even more terrible? Well, you can just, of course, add Vito's... Um, 
ultimate ability here. Of course, his standard ability is whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life, which is a standard ability. Uh, remember, he's just a black and two, one, three. His ultimate, of course, is two black and three, and everybody gains lifelink into the end of turn, which can immediately end the game if anybody gets some touch off. But then we have Knight's Charge. Now, between Hooded Blightfang, Knight's Charge, and Vito, now just one Knight swinging in, okay? If we have one Knight swinging in, with Death Touch Knight swinging in, Hooded Blightfang, Knight's Charge, and Vito, they lose... Uh, two life, we gain two life, and then they lose two more life. That's even before we do damage. So they're losing four life on just the attack of one knight. Just those three cards on the board, they're losing four life on the attack with one attack. If it's two attacks, they're losing eight. If it's three attacks, they're losing 12 with just three cards on the board. That is ridiculous. Valiant Knight here. Uh, we only have two of these because he's a little expensive. I want to move fast with this one. We want to drain him out. Other knights you control get plus one, plus one. Then, of course, um, you can pay two white and three to give all the knights double strike, which could also be a finisher for you there. Um, and don't forget Knight's Charge ultimate ability here. You can sacrifice Knight's Charge for eight, six, black, and white. Return all knights creature cards from the battlefield. I mean, from the graveyard to the battlefield. If somebody is suppressing you, hitting control a lot on you, and the game is running long, you can kind of run this one, and then maybe, hopefully, you can swing in for a one final hit. So it does have kind of a last stand ability there, uh, which is really useful with Valiant Knight. So the ultimate ability is, eventually, you can get so powerful, you can build up so much deadly stuff here with all these Death Touchers swinging in and all the Gain and Drain swinging in, the Knights themselves attacking just them attacking not even hitting will win you the game eight planes seven swamps were a little bit more heavy into black than we are blight blight crime pathway and isolated chapel you can do whatever uh you want with mana here it's really going to be to taste for death knights um and of course uh the statistics here we can look at the details uh, 26 creatures, 11 non-creatures, 2.1 average, kind of aggro. Again, probably almost almost twice as much black. Uh, 26 creatures, 18 knights, 14 humans, a lot of vampires, snakes, and clerics. Um, f clerics? I wonder what the clerics are. Uh, oh, yeah, that's Vito. Um, three instants, four sorceries, four enchantments, 23 lands total. That's probably all we need for a 21 thing there. Uh, Death Knights absolutely crushing it. We went really, really, really good with this in Explorer. Even against the best, de best decks, we made it to Platinum 1, and we're even pushing up Platinum 1 right here. 1, 2, and 3, we only have one 4-drop, and only two of those 4-drops as it is right there. So we are really, really crushing hard with this one, guys. Probably going to try to push the Diamond with this one. Unless we hit some crazy, some crazy turn 2 jank, this one can absolutely... Um, get those wins in if you're running explore it is a little expensive but it is very fun so let's see if we can get it in guys let's go for it you know you're like samurai fighting uh four or five guys in the middle of the night under moonlight in a on a cliffside in a big open plain and you're just like, man, yeah, this is what it's about right here, man. It's uh, it's a really great game. Elden Ring. It's, uh, it's, I mean, there's a reason. It sold, like, what is it up to? 14 million copies or something like that? I don't know. A lot of copies. A lot of copies, guys. Uh, it's very good. Shock, no problems there. <laughs> Wizard's Lightning, very good. I have seen this deck before. This is actually, this might be the cheap deck. Um, this might be the cheap deck. Um, there's actually a very good old school wizard deck that's like uh, commons only. Scarlet Mage, okay. Lightning Strike. Problem is, this, this is going to get gas pretty quick. <laughs> and I clearly am drawing way too much land. Uh, Hooded Blightfang, I think, is going to slow him down a little bit here. And... 
G2. Yeah, we'll kill him. Okay, we'll do this. Soul Scar Mage. Let's do Spin Swordmaster. Yeah, there's RDW decks that if you can get a lot of different RDW stuff out, man, it's it's pretty much curtains for them. Oh my god, what is up with this this mana draw, bro? What is up with this mana draw? Good lord, bro. Alright, gain and drain. What is up with this mana? Six mana and twelve cards? Bro, I do not have that much mana in this deck. Uh, 17, 21, 22, 23 mana? Maybe I do. I don't, maybe I fucked up. I don't know. Smitten Swordmaster. Jeez, Louise. Uh, one of those. Uh, let's gain the life. Let's put that guy down. Yeah, dude kind of gassed himself here. Hit. Yeah, nukes. I, I I know you've seen it, nukes. Like you can you can pull off popper or artisan RDW decks like like nobody's business. Okay, that's another knight's charge. That's pretty cool. Okay, hit hit hit. This is kind of why you need card draw in RDW. Yep, that's what he's got it. I said that from my lips to RDW's ears, man. From my lips to RDW's ears. Oh, he's going to hold back. Okay. That's Smitten Swordmaster again, so let's do this. That's all I'm drawing is Smitten Swordmaster. That's so crazy. It's the worst card I have. i got to reduce the amount of these I have. Let's swing in. Choo -choo -choo. Choo -choo. All right, hit it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna outpace him here. And if I get another thing, I can return all knights to my hand, all knights to the battlefield, which is not gonna be good for him. Um, Soul Scar Mage. Okay, what are you gonna do, Soul Scar? Soul Scar. Check it out now, Soul Scar Mage. Right about now, Soul Scar Mage. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this. That's not good. Um, that's not good for him, bro. Got her snipe. Yeah, that's not good for you, bro. It's not good for you, man. Yeah, flooded with mana, but damn. I mean... Yeah. Truffles tried me, man. He almost had it, but he didn't have he didn't have the heart of the cards with him. He didn't have the spirit of RDW with him, man. Nukes, where did he go wrong, Nukes? What's the what's the post op there, Nukes? What's the post op? What's the autopsy on that one, Nukes? Let's get that one. He hit a land pocket? Yeah, it kind of looked like that. <laughs> Let's see if we can keep the good times spinning. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, if you're running cheap, I don't think you should be land pocketing. Um... I go first. I can run that. Well, he should have had some man lands in there if he was just running straight lands. Or he should have had some, uh, maybe some spike field hazards or something. Looks like he was running all basics. Maybe he was trying to run at Popper, but I don't know. <sighs> I don't know, man. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, interesting. So let's do that. Swing. Swing. He's got an instant in his hand. Okay. Draw a card. Nacho Daddy. I like that. It's pretty funny. It's pretty funny, man. It's a pretty funny joke you did there, guy. He's Nacho Daddy. Get it? Get it, guys? Whoa, look at that. Look at that crazy thing. All right, so how's about... Um, why did he take damage all of a sudden? the hell did he do? Hmm. Whenever you cast a nun... Let's do Knight's Charge. We can always kill that. Consider. Dora had the perfect pet. Man, I haven't seen those uh, Ikoria art styles in such a long time. Holy shit, that's a, bla that's a blast from the past right there, man. Okay, Nacho Daddy. Um, what do I want to do here? Let's let's do Vito then. <laughs> Lose, hit, hit. <sighs> four more. We got to do four more. Jamel Zilla, what's going on, Jamel Zilla? We had like two C sections delivered at the same time. Oh no! What happened? Primal Amulet. I have no idea what that is. Uh, okay. How's about other knights I control? How's about we do this? Activate that ability. Um, and then, of course, we want to do this. Kill that. And I think he might scoop there. Cast an answer of sorcery. Okay. Not sure how much homie can do here. Curate. But then if there's four or more, transform it. What does it become? It becomes primal wellspring. You may choose. Okay, so he's trying to go off here. Wow, working in the working in the uh Working in the whatchamacall must be a hell of a thing, bro. Working in that old, uh, the NICU, bro. Draw two cards, draw two cards, wow. Alright, he's got one more, look at that. Can he get the fourth one? He'll transform it. Can he do it? Can he pull off the combo? Divide by zero, which is banned most other places. Very nice. He got it transformed. <laughs> He's going to learn. Knight is such a great card. How am I liking Explorer? Eh. It's hit or miss, man. You get okay. You get okay times. And then you get some times that are awful and terrible and they suck so I mean hit or miss man hit or miss we turn arc light phoenix yeah you get these arc light phoenix nonsense dude you get this arc light phoenix stuff um so you know you never know it's hit or miss I guess they never miss, huh? Uh, which means he's probably going to kill me. Uh, no attacks, because I'm sure he's got a blast spell, and he's going to hit me for nine and blast. Um, yeah. Because he's got double blast on me. Nib Mizzet Paran, yeah, there you go.
Puff, puff, puff. Two. Oh, wait, hold on. Is he can do two damage? Because if he can't... Oh, no, he lost. Hey, look at that. His art-like deck died against my knights. I'm kind of shocked. How did he mess that up? I didn't so much as win that as he completely lost that. Your view count is off. It shows 10, but lists 20 people. Yeah, it doesn't... Sh it, it, it basically... Um, um, it, it doesn't really show the bots. Uh, it kind of just ignores the bots. Uh, which is good and bad, so, you know, it counts real people. So, by some estimate, somebody said that, like, Twitch was, like, 60% bots or something like that. I just had an opponent dump an entire hand of spot removal and then concede. Um, congrats on Plat. Yeah, man. I'm glad. I love to see my viewers hitting higher, man. I love to see my viewers punching higher, bro. Love it. <clears throat> love to see my viewers punching up. When I see a viewer tell me, I, I ran, I ran, a, I was inspired by one of your Golgari decks and I hit gold. Man, nothing fucking makes me happier. Literally. That is the best day, best thing I could hear all day. I ran one of your decks, I was inspired by one of your builds, and I hit gold, man. Nothing makes me happier than that, bro. Hell, I hit silver running running one of your decks. That's that's good right there. I'm happy I'm happy in that. Ulfvir. 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 Da na 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 na. Uh oh, we got a we got a uh, surveillance guy here. Um the darkness. <clears throat> Your silver, you have limited wild cards. How are you supposed to build? Uh, how are you supposed to build decks as a newbie? Um, I'll tell you how, my guy. I will tell you how. Uh, you got to build them by. Um, you got to build them by economy of motion. Economy of motion. What is economy of motion, Jay? J economy of motion is this. You got to get the most important wilds and forget the rest of the forget the rest of the stuff. Go for the big things that are going to support the decks your most and be the most effective, be the most um, important. Everything else dump it. Don't worry about it. Try running some artisan. Artisan's a fantastic way of doing things. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I actually built a grow landfall recently, guys. Nobody does expect it. Yeah, um, there is a absolute wall of fire in High Diamond. If you are not running fucking one of top three metas, you're not getting a mythic, which is why it's boring and I don't like it. Um, everyone's like, damn, you're diamond right away. It's it's boring. I don't want to play mono white aggro. I, I, listen, I know what the top three decks are, okay? It's not a secret. It's not like some mystical thing that nobody knows. Ooh, what's the top three decks? I know what the top three decks are. Everybody knows what the top three decks are, okay? It's not a secret. I know what they are. I don't want to play them. They're boring. I've played them a million times. You just have to grind them out. And unfortunately, that's the problem. There's really, really not fucking novelty. Uh, Selesnya runes, Naya runes, Mono White, or fucking Orzov Denial. That's it. Return non-land permanent you control with the highest mana value among the permanents you control to its owner's hand. That one. Alright, discard a card, that one. 
See, this is why I don't like Explorer. Because of these insane... These insane combos that people pull off that I'm not privy to because I'm not really playing the format. It's not really the right format for just to go into casually because you end up getting smashed in the face because you're just like, oh, I'll have some fun with some cards that I know. And people are like, I'm going to pull off an eight-hit combo that you never even thought of and never knew about. Um, you know, so it is a bit it is a bit troublesome doing that. So I just have to go with my old standby gain and drain. Target a knight you control, uh, that one. Hit, hit, and he's dead. Ah, the classics, man. See? This dude's doing fucking backflips, and I just kill him with the old gain and drain. How viable is the ice deck? This is what this man wants to know. Um, uh, you could make a you could make a zombie ice deck. That's actually that's probably viable. It's probably going to be expensive, but could be a little viable. Also, if you really want to know what the meta is, you just have to click this button here. Um, uh, I mean, is it going to get you to Mythic? Probably no. Uh, is it going to get you to Plat or Diamond? Maybe. Uh, so you just go to Main, a, or you go to Constructed. Standard metagame. It's going to load metagame for you. Mono White Aggro, 9 Enchantments, Leslie Enchantments, 9 Human, or Zob. Exactly what I said. What did I say? I said Mile Right, Nine Enchantments, Slesnia, Naya Runes, and Slesnia Tunes, Naya Humans was the same thing, and Orzov. Mono Black Midrange is a bit odd. I didn't expect that there. Rakdos is the new one. That's the Rakdos Anvil. And of course, Esper Control, which is a miserable experience for everybody. Um, sorry, man. It just is. Um, and let's keep it going. That's three in a row against everyone's crazy backflipping. Uh, I'm sure you have fun. Your opponent probably wants to shoot himself, so... You know. <laughs> you can check my channel, uh, Ice Iceman, and pretty much I've done... If you want to look at a zombie deck, a snow deck, um, there's a lot of them in there. Uh, I've done a billion, gajillion different builds of all different sizes and shapes. Um, so, you know. <laughs> oh, man. Boy, we're going to get rogue milled here, guys. This is a blast from the path here. Um, this is a blast from the past here, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to take you back to the past. To play the shitty games that suck ass. Uh, let's drop Knight's Charge because he's probably going to want to counter it. And I have another one in my hand. <coughs> oh, there he goes. Alright. So, what Explorer does... Um, Gonna venture into the dungeon here. Welcome to the dungeon. We got fun and games. What the dungeon, what Explorer is, is it's gonna eventually become Pioneer. It's gonna go back. They're gonna keep adding older and older and older and older cards until it's um, like very. It's it's really gonna be old stuff. Every set back to Kaladesh, basically. Yeah, it's gonna keep getting older and it's gonna be like super historic, um, essentially. Dungeon. Welcome to the dungeon of one mind. Alright, let's do that. Swing in, man. Yeah, you do it, man. You do it. Mail me, mail me. 
Hold me, kiss me, thrill me, mill me. Uh, should I throw down my Blight Fang, or should I... I have another veto, so let's see if we can get that. Let's see if we can get that Counterspell. Oh, we didn't have the Counterspell. Okay, let's do it, man. Um, treasure Token. There we go. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Hold me. Kiss me. Mill me. Kill me. Yeah, it's nice to have Vito back, you know. It's the little things in life. Uh, you know, uh, you give me a lot of these new cards, man. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with them, but I'll, I'll paint you a goddamn masterpiece with Vito, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I will show you fear in a handful of dust. Uh, Alright, let's do... Why don't we do another Knight's Charge? Let's see if he's got a counter for that. Let's see if he's got a counter for that. Yeah, he does. Um, let's hit it. Let's hit it, boys. Uh, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Yes, the darkness. Oh, he would have been dead if he would have let that one through. Well, he's got to block everybody or he dies. So, well, he's got to block somebody. Oh, no, he's gonna, just going to lose. Okay. That's a good idea. Um, would the new cards work well with Vito? Yeah, a lot of them do. Um, I mean, any card where you gain life works well with Vito. I mean, it's just an amazing card, period. Like, no matter what you do, it's it's going to work well. Like, any card that has life gain in it is, it's going to work well. Like, you see the problem here? Like, you just, you just get... You just get eaten alive by him, man. There's a reason I have his quote text on the top of my channel. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Like, he just he just devours people, man. Look. <laughs> that, that trigger is just ridiculous, dude. Like, they lose every time you gain. You know how much life you can gain in Magic the Gathering? It, it's just... It's such a ridiculous combo, like... Alright, let's keep it going. Where's a braid when you need him? Yeah. Where's Kanye when you need him? That's why I, I was thinking about putting some protection in there for him, but honestly, people are so concerned. The funny thing about Explorer, people are so concerned about getting their janky combos off that they kind of ignore what you're doing and just focus on getting their crazy combos off, um, which is kind of funny. Numbskull, I see you lurking. Sarn. Um, who else is here? Marathon42. Maybe you're a bot. I don't know. If you're a bot, say hello. If you're not a bot, also say hello. Dinaterra. Uh, Acid Talon, I see you, Buggy Man, Buggy Man, Buggy Man, Buggy Man. <laughs> Mulligan, we got no white. All right. Um, yeah, Smith Swordmaster is probably my weakest link there. Dark Touch Death. Yes, yeah, Smith Swordmaster is my weakest link there. <laughs> um, Knight's Charge, so let's put down the white. I sure hope it's not a goblin deck, because if it's a goblin deck, he's going to destroy me. Well, maybe, maybe not. I've said that about every deck, but I should probably be more confident, huh? Uh, okay, so let's put that down. Let's try Wintermore. I do need a mana. 40% chance I can hit it. Um, do I run any of the events? No event that I have to pay for. Hey, there's the Abrade. He played it too early. That's where the Braid was. Oh, green. Injured. Oh, Valakut. Yeah, I got a Valakut deck coming up, by the way, guys. Valakut deck is coming up. There's some good landfall options. Um, free events, midweek magic, of course, yes. Um, any event that I have to pay for, no thank you. I don't want to play them. 
the events you have to pay for suck. I don't like those. Um, you know, no thanks. I'll 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 take my business elsewhere. Um, so let's do this. Why don't we put down a Knight of the Ebon Legion? Uh, Azusa, Lost but Seeking. I don't want you playing those extra. Ooh, you don't have that. We don't have that yet. All right, let's do that. Let's try to draw out some more removal. Um, <coughs> ah, there we go. There we go. There's a big boy right there. There's that big boy. It's a big boy right there. It's a big boy. Shy Soul of the Wild. So hopefully I'll draw land here. Oh yeah, this is a, this is a Gruel Ramp. Gruel Ramp. Gruel Ramp. Alright, so let's put down Blightfang. 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 Da -na 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 -na. You make my heart sing. Na -na 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 -na. You make everything groove, Blyfang. I think I love you, but I want to know for sure. All right, uh, so why don't we just go ahead and kill that Ashai Soul of the Wild because it sucks. Um, yeah, sorry, buddy. You kind of, kind of played yourself. Kind of played yourself. You can activate this den of the bugbear. You activate that den of the bugbear. Every three and two. Hmm. Um. But you know what? Why not? Let's make you do it. Let's make you do it, man. Oh, he's he's going. He's going. To, okay. How many cards has he been through? Good lord. There's the bugbear. Swingy bugbear. Swingy bone bugbear. Uh, three damage. Okay, no blocks. Doof doof. All right, there's the doof. All right, so there's the white. Uh, how's about... How's about... Ebon Legion Vito? We do Veto, but we do Ebon Legion. Um, and, and we do no attacks. How about that? Oh, I don't like that he's saving cards up now. That's no good. Saving cards up is no good. You shouldn't have cards. I don't like you having cards. That's for suckers, man. Uh, okay, Valakut. Okay, there he goes. Woof. Woof. Cultivate. All right. All right, your basic lands. Okay. Oh, there's the Abrade. Okay, got that one. All right, this guy may self mill before he gets uh, before it's all said and done here. All right, rabbit battery. All right, keep playing that stuff, man. There's the braid. Excellent. Kazandu mammoth. Very cool. All right, rabbit battery. You gonna rabbit battery it up? Yeah, rabbit battery it up, bro. Do that brand new thing. Bone Crusher, very nice. Damn, this dude's dude dude said I paid for the I paid for the whole deck. I'ma use the whole deck, man. Azusa, uh, getting it done. Brush fire elemental, awesome. Good card. Azusa getting it done here. Two Valakuts and Azusa getting it done. Uh, swinging in with the hit there. Hit, hit, and the three damage. Poof, poof. Very cool. All right, so let's go with... That's going to be three. Hmm. Let's go with that. 
want to do that. Let's see what happens. Let's just let's throw caution to the wind. Let's be su super goofy and silly right now. I don't care. I, I'm not in a good position for this right now anyway. So poof poof. All right. Gain life. Yeah, he's probably just gonna massacre me anyways. Um, because he's got a million cards in his hand, so he's gonna play the third Valakut, which means that he can play Bone Crusher, which means that he is going to put that down. He can Rabbit Battery the Bone Crusher, meaning that he probably can play another land, and he can play an infinite amount of land, which from the Valakuts he can play the land. Yeah, Jank plays very good, very good. And there's the Scoot Swarm, blah 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 blah. Yeah, it's called it's called the whole uh, it's called the 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 whole deck uh gruel here i really like this um honestly i love playing decks like this i don't include scroot Scorm, and i did this in mono red um but i really like the valakut whole deck uh, uh whole deck banger it's uh really cool stuff man um i'm not even mad losing this it's a really fun deck uh i'll never be mad losing to a fun crazy crazy cool deck like this and frankly gruel doesn't get um Um, crazy cool stuff like this. So, I used to I used to run stuff like this. So, good game, man. Uh, the amount of power that you can throw at this with Valakut and the haste. I never, like I said, I didn't run the Gruel. I ran the Mono Red. I called it Inferno. It's actually sitting in my uh, six win run. I absolutely beat the cowboy shit out of people with it uh, previously. I mean, I beat the shit out of people with it. Hey, Paradabo gifting a sub. Fire Dust Streams just subscribe. Thank you, Lady Paradabo. Um, yeah, you want to see my version? Uh, just for funsies. Valakut's a dangerous card. I'm actually doing one right now. So I have a Gruul version that I just built. Um, I have a Gruul version that I just built for the new new and improved Gruul version right here. This one. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing this one. So a little preview there. Um, that's going to be a Gruul landfall with Valakut. And, but my old... My crazy infernal one that I used to run my my for for uh, that I could probably run and explore was this one. Oh my god, man! This used to blow people up, man. Fire Emancipation, Torbrand, Tectonic Giant, Storm's Wrath, Valakut, Slaying Fire, all this crap, man. Oh my goodness! Actually, let's change it to let's change it to Explore and see if it's legal. Yeah, it's Explore legal. Well, maybe we'll try it again one day. Uh, cause this was a six one run. This, this absolutely crushed people's souls, man. Uh, but let's try to close it off with these knights, man. Let's, uh, see if we can get some more, uh, good stuff in here. Everyone having fun? Are we enjoying looking at this explorer, uh, builds here? Uh. Hey! Contabrio, how did it go with Reanimator? It went terrible. I tried to run a Grixis Reanimator. I don't know what these guys are putting in their Grixis Reanimators, but mine sure sucked horribly. Um, because every time that I tried to run it, I got paired against some sort of mega aggro thing that killed me in three turns. Um, so I don't know what these dudes were putting in their Reanimator that made them last, but man, <laughs> I couldn't reanimate. For anything, man. I was trying to fill my, I was trying to fill my uh, watch. call it up. I was trying to fill my graveyard, man. But uh, it wasn't happening, bro. Oh, we got Lotus Cobra's dangerous in this situation. Uh, swing in. Hey, Jerwolf. Jawerwolf. Jawerwolf. Jerwolf. I'm just gonna call you Jerwolf instead. How's that sound? Jerwolf the Werewolf. How's about that? Let's do Knight's Charge. In case he runs a Sweeper, we can get the life out of it and then save Hooded Blightfang for later. Okay. Jerewolf the Werewolf. Let's Cultivate. Reveal Landfall. 
Contabrillo. Uh, welcome to the stream, Contabrillo. Um, Contabrillo. I'm assuming that's a uh, that's a LL like uh, my last name Vijan, uh, which is what my actual last name is is Vijan. Vijan. It's Basque, people. It's Basque. Look it up. Okay, put down that. Implacable Earth. Fantastic. All right. Um, all right, Light of Hope. Really good for you there, man. Excellent. All right. Let's put down the Blight Fang right there. Yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, let's swing in with that guy right there. There you go. Hit him with that. And then we hit him with the bang. He puffs away into nothingness. He just puffs away. He just goes puff. He just puff puffs away. Oh, there he is, guys. There's the man. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Omnath himself. The big man himself. He ain't back. He never left. <sighs> you know what I'm saying, man? He been saving that Fabled Passages to hit that extra landfall and get that crazy, janky Omnath nonsensical stuff hit that growth spiral oh yeah he's doing it man <sighs> you know how badly Omnath was broken they had to ban Omnath they they had to ban Omnath from paper before it was released because of how bad it fucked up arena that's how bad Omnath was broken, bro. That's how fucking bad Omnath was broken, man. Omnath never got a paper release. How humiliating is that? To design a card so badly that you literally cannot give it a paper release because when it came out in digital... The one week it was out for digital, it broke your fucking digital format. That it was banned even before that it could come out in fucking paper, bro. Bro, you know how bad you have to fuck up? Yeah, I'm telling you, bro. You know how Arena has the cards beforehand? Omnath hit the fucking... Omnath hit fucking Arena like fucking... Like fucking... Uh, 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 crack hit the streets in the 80s, dude. It fucked everything up, bro. Yeah, and it was banned. You can have a paper copy, but it was fucking banned from standard as soon as it hit the fucking street, man. Every game was Omnath, dude. Arena was fucked in half, dude, for a week straight. For a week straight, Arena was fucked in half, dude. It was hilarious. It wasn't. I wasn't even mad at it, dude. The combo you could pull off with fucking Omnath was hilarious. It it was it was just it was just beyond absurd that they did that. That they didn't even consider that that was something that could happen. Um. Yeah, you have a paper Omnath. They were literally before it, before it hit store shelves. They had to ban it. Or or maybe the day of. But you couldn't play like Omnath. I don't think Omnath ever saw standard play. If I remember correctly. Maybe it did for three or four days or something like that. Um, humiliating, dude. Humiliating. Basically, um, so what Omnath does... Let me, let me turn this off for you. Um... Yeah, it's a fucking paragraph. It's a novel here. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you gain four life. It's the first time. If it's the second time, add four fucking mana. And if it's the third time, 
Uh, deal four damage to each opponent in each planeswalker you don't control. Um, okay, so what the problem with that is, is that they said, oh, well, it has a four mana cost. That doesn't fucking matter when you've added Lotus Cobra into the game that has a landfall ability. Okay, so you see what's going on here is that he can just basically play infinite cards. So you could get into these loops where you could, as you can see here, Omnath has the ability to, if you landfall a second time, can play another Omnath, which means that if you can get keep playing lands over and over again you can just keep playing omnaths over and over and over and over and over and over again if you keep hitting long if you just keep hitting landfall like if you keep hitting these different landfall abilities and the whole set they released zendikar was basically themed around fucking um putting lands into play so it was it was just it was just absurd see this this was every deck this was every single deck that you could play. It was every single deck you could play was that. Um, what he just did. Except faster, because I killed his first Cobra. So people didn't even really know how to counter it, because it had just come out. And I'm telling you that it fucked the game in half, man. They had to do, like, emergency triage on Arena. Um, and it got banned before, like, it even... Um... Yeah, he killed me way slower than he should have. Um, it was every deck, man. It was impossible to it was impossible to play a regular game of arena. It, the, the game was ruined, uh, essentially. Yeah, he didn't even hit Riz, Risen Reef. Yeah. All right, last one, guys. Yeah, so you you could get locked out of the game like if they were on the play, I think you could probably get locked out of the game like maybe turn 2. You could maybe get locked out of the game. I think turn 2 you could get locked out. Um I'm not 100% sure. I it, it may have been uh turn 3 you you couldn't you could you were locked out of the game. But unless it was one of those situations where unless you had immediate removal and maybe not even then because they might have a Jawara disruption to, to stop it. Um, so if they were holding a Jawara disruption, so if, if they went, put down a blue land and then then you went and then they went and tried to drop something and you couldn't get it out there. Um Oh, and then there was the funny thing that there was Space Godzilla, uh, Corona Lord. That was hilarious. The uh, Space Godzilla, uh, <laughs> Space Godzilla Corona, Corona King. They accidentally made a card called Corona King. Um, I think turn three, when you had Lotus Cobra, you could hit the extra mana from the drop. And especially if you had um, Space Godzilla Death Corona. That's right, Death Corona. Um, Space Godzilla Death Corona. And they released that like April of 2020. That was hilarious too. That was pretty funny. Uh, so let's do... Let's do that... Create a treasure token. Turn two. Yeah, turn two was your really your last chance. Um, yeah, you're right. Turn two was your last chance. Turn three was consume. Um, I think turn three you were you were pretty much done, especially if that a Jawara disruption.
Well, that's what I'm saying. If 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 they had a Jawara, you I mean, the Jawara was the one green you had to pay one on it, and uh, so they could whiff. They could either I mean you could counter or they could whiff, but I mean you basically didn't really have too much of a choice, man. You you were. You you had a very very slim chance of getting anything done. Um, gain four life, and this guy's done. Thank you. Thank you for playing, man. Uh, target a knight of control. There we go. All right, guys. Well, Vito and the Knights still got it in them, man. Aside from trying to shake down Omnath, uh, they still got a little fight left in them. Orzov Knights with Vito Backer, the Death Knights. Uh, they still got they still got a little fight left in them, huh, guys? Still got a little fight left in these Death Knights. Yeah, I like that, man. People aren't expecting them, so you want to get in there and you want to you want to shake it up and explore a little bit, man. You wanna you wanna shake up explorer. You wanna you wanna drain and gain people out and explore. Well, give them a little taste of this veto action here, man, and uh, give them some of these death knights. Death knights. The word of the day is gonna be death knight. Well, you're saying Jay? That's two word. No, I combined it. It's one word. Death knight. Until next time, guys. I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Bye bye.